Hello friends, welcome to Devs Coding Hub. Today in this 13th video of the web programming series, I am going to discuss about HTML tables, which is used to display data in a grid-like format. So let's start without any delay. So what is a table? A table is a grid made of rows and columns and is used to display data. Let us see the components of the table. So this is a grid made up of some rows, four number of rows and three columns. This will be termed as a table and it is only some data. So this entire boundary is the table. For creating a table in HTML, we use table tag. And this horizontal line is row 1. It is created using tier tag. The second horizontal line is also a row. It is also created using tier tag. Similarly, this is the third row. And it is also created using tier tag. Followed by the fourth row. It is also created using tier tag. So tier tag stands for table row. It is used to create a row in a table. Now, this is the first column. When a column intersects a row, it creates a box, which is called a cell. And each cell can store data. So this is the column 1, this is the column 2, and this is the column 3. So when 3 columns and 4 row intersects, it will be 3 into 4, or 4 into 3, 12 cells. So in this table, we have 12 cells. So these are the cells we have. Now in a table, some cells are heading cells and some cells are data cells. A table heading cell is denoted by th tag. And a table heading cell can be identified when the data in the cell is bold and center aligned. It is a table heading cell. So roll number, name and class, all these three are table heading cells. Now, the second type of cell we can create in a table is table data cell. It is denoted by td tag. The identification of table data cell is by default the data is left aligned and it is not bold. So all these cells are table data cells. So to create a table we need a table tag. Then we need a tier tag to specify rows and in each row we may have either th table heading cell or td table data cell. So these are the four tags that are used to create a table. So let's create a table. So this is the table we are going to create. So for this let me save the page in sublime text. Let us name the file as table demo dot htm. I'm generating the page. Okay. Then let us take the title of the page as table demo. So let us start writing the code for the table. So this is the table tag. Table tag will denote the entire table. And in this table we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 rows. So we will have 4 tier tags. Which will specify 1 row. So let us create 3 more. table rows, second one, third one, and the fourth one. Now inside each row will have some cells. So in the first row we have three cells and in all the rows we have three cells. So first cell is containing the heading as the data is center aligned and bold. So we will have to specify what th tag for this. So, TS stands for table heading. So, the first heading we have 
is roll number. I am writing roll number. Then we will generate two more TH or table adding cells. So the second cell will store what name as the data and the third cell will have class. Now in the second row this concludes the first row as because three cells are already written there is nothing to write in the first row. So we will go for the next row. In the next row we will write three TDs. In this three trees, the first TD will contain what? One. Second one will contain Ankur Das. And the third will contain eight as the class. For the third row, I'll write again three TD tags. In the third row, we have two as roll number. Roy Jen as name and again the class is 8 in the fourth row we will again have three cells so the first cell will have roll number as 3 and the next two cells will have moon kalita and then class 8. So this concludes the entire table. Okay. Let us save the page and load. So this is our table. From the output, you can see the table is not displayed with the borders and neither the colors okay so let us solve this so initially when we create the table it is displayed like this so we must learn some attributes of the table tag so that we can format the table first attribute will go for is bg color so let us set the attribute bg color as line So we can see that we have successfully set the background color of the table as line as you can see it here okay after writing the code or adding the attribute bg color and the value as line we'll get this background of the table as what line now let us go for the next attribute the next attribute is border if i want to give border around this as you have seen in our sample table, I have to write border attribute and I will set the value of border as 1 pixel. This is given in pixel. So let us again load the page. You can see that we are getting a border where sales are having different borders, separate borders. And the entire table is having another border. So it is, there is a gap between the border of the cell and the border of table. That means in between cell we have some gap. So after applying the border, we will be able to see the table like this. Okay. So let us remove this gap and set a common border to adjacent cells. So for this, we have to use the cell spacing attribute. Let us write cell spacing and the value of cell spacing will be 0. If I write 0 as the cell spacing, there will be no gap between cells and our table will look like as we have seen or targeted to be done. So the table looks like this after we apply cell spacing. The next attribute is cell padding. You can see that the data is almost touching the edge of the table cell. That means it is almost touching the border. 
if I want to have some cushion around the data so that the data is shifted from the border of the cell we can use the cell padding attribute now let us see how cell padding attribute can be used to shift the text from the border of the table let us write cell padding so let us give the value as 6 let us run the code and see now the data is shifted a little bit 6 pixels ok from the border of the cell so around the cell we give 6 pixels of space so that the table data looks good so after cell padding we'll be able to see the table like this we'll go for the next attribute which is width so if I want to increase the width of the table what I can do I can type or add the width attribute and can set the value of the table width as suppose uh, 436 suppose pixel let us run the code now see the width of the table has increased so you have a lot of space in the table cells so this is how width attribute will increase the width of the table now let us go for the next attribute which is height so to increase the height of the table we can use this attribute so let us try height attribute let us set the height as uh, suppose 100 or 200 let us run the code now see after using the height attribute the height of the table has increased so this will be displayed like this next attribute is the align attribute by using align attribute we can align the table with respect to the width of the web page so let us use the align attribute and align the table at the center of the table center of the web page sorry now see if I increase and then make it full screen also the table is at the center of the web page horizontally so this is how I will be using align attribute of the table type. so thanks for watching my video please hit the like button if you have liked the video please leave a comment that inspires me and please share my video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon thanks a lot